The other um, area or category under social presence is open communication or interaction. And um, really what this is comprised of is um, having students be comfortable conversing online, having them be comfortable participating in an online discussion, creating um, an environment where they're comfortable interacting with their, um, with their classmates. And this is can be achieved um, in the course of an online discussion and how that's facilitated, um, giving students permission to answer each other's questions, making sure it's clear. Now, it sounds like, duh, right? It sounds like, you know, do I have to give them permission to answer each other's questions? Well, if they don't know, how are they going to know if you don't tell them? And so um, in all of our courses, we have an ask a question area. And I recommend that the faculty tell the students, if you see a question from a classmate and you know the answer to it, go ahead and take a shot at, at helping your classmate out. That also helps to build a sense of, of community where students are helping each other out and where they can express actually their teaching presence, which is another presence. Um, so other ways that you can um, sort of um, uh, address this issue of op open communication is by um, modeling quoting. So if, if someone in the class has, um, uh, has said something, you can then quote it. Um, and, and the instructor can model that for the students. Like, so, like, for example, for example, Nicole said, and then an actual quote, and then followed by some kind of a probing question or a diagnosis of some kind of misperception or whatever. Um, and then also referring to others. So either in the course of a discussion or in an announcement or in a news flash, wherever it is that you have the ability to interact with the students in a question area or whatever, to actually identify and indicate Nicole and Bill and um, Harry said such and such uh, Jones what do you think you know what I mean or or you know Harry Peter and Paul what do you think um, actually naming people Another way is to actually have um, an area where people can ask questions. So I think I mentioned that we have an area called Ask a Question. And one of the reasons we have that area explicitly in the templates we use is um, so that anywhere in the course, a student can essentially raise their hand and ask a question. And it's labeled Ask a Question, so the student sort of organically knows that they can go ask their questions there. Um, and then it's also this area that can be facilitated to have students help each other out. Asking questions gives permission for students or, or, or having an area explicitly for that because you can do this in a lot of different ways and it's simply a discussion area labeled ask a question, right? Um, but the, but the, um, the benefit to actually kind of isolating it and labeling it that way is that, um, is that is the impression it gives to the students that they have access to, to be a permission to ask questions and access to answers that they have right in that moment. Another thing that you can do for this open communication is to give compliments and um, to um, um, acknowledge and, and appreciate things. And again, we're talking about social presence and you can't underestimate the power of a kindly remark. And I'm not just talking about, yep, I agree in discussion. I'm talking about, and, and we can talk about it from the professor perspective or the student perspective, but from the professor perspective, um, a remark like, you know, I can see that you have put a lot of thought into this and that if this isn't a pre-service educator or an in-service educator and that your students will really benefit from your thoughtfulness. It's acknowledging um, and appreciating the effort that that person has expended and acknowledging its effect on others. Um, and I guess I'm talking about educators because for the most part, that's who I, who I deal with, right? Um, but it can work in other disciplines too, and for graduate or undergraduate. It, it, you can't underestimate the power of a kindly word. Um, and, you know, and especially from an instructor. Um, I mean, it, it, it works between students also, and so when an instructor models it, you might often see it reflected again with the students and how they interact with each other, but it has a lot of power. It, in, in spite of the fact that we're all trying to be guides on the sides and 
whatever, you still are the instructor of the course and your words have power to, um, to you know, to support people and to, and, and have lasting impact. So you, you can't underestimate that.